following back-to-back -back losses across separate competitions and witnessing his team's lackluster performance, Guardiola's grin returned. This transformation was palpable during the post-match press conference after the Leipzig game last Thursday. He fielded every reporter's question with a smile, bubbling with anticipation over his protégé's display. Guardiola beamed with delight as his squad displayed dominance over the home team throughout the game, proclaiming what he once considered a battleground. Last season, in the quarter-finals initial leg, his team struggled immensely, making him thankful they didn't suffer a defeat. Now, they've showcased their prowess by controlling 69% of the game. While waiting for the two winning goals in the game's dying minute required patience, the gratifying outcome paled in comparison to the team's enduring struggle for this achievement. He showered genuine praise upon his entire team, including the substitute players who significantly contributed to their victory. Yet, among them, one name consistently stood out, Rico Lewis, an 18-year-old nurtured within their academy and hailing from Manchester. Guardiola's admiration for Rico Lewis radiated through his remarks. Indeed, Guardiola never fails to discover talent within the City Academy, capitalizing on numerous talents they've cultivated, profiting from the Academy's player sales. Since assuming leadership at City in 2016, the City Football Academy has amassed over £442 million from selling their Academy products. Their latest windfall came from Cole Palmer's £45 million sale, marking the pinnacle and final entry in their earnings record. Nowadays, capitalizing on academy talent for financial gain isn't considered a forbidden practice. In this fast-paced era of football, integrating a budding academy player into the first team runs contrary to the pursuit of instant results. City's management comprehends this reality, reflected in the frequent transfers of young academy prospects to other clubs. Often, these deals include buyback clauses, strategically designed to retain access to these talents. If a promising prospect blossoms as expected, City retains the option to reclaim them. It's their way of nurturing these talents, either they return to City's fold if they excel, or City benefit from their early sale if they don't meet expectations. This blueprint has started to gain traction among other prominent European clubs. Nonetheless, Guardiola remains receptive to promoting academy players to the top tier. Despite a stringent selection process, only Phil Foden has consistently secured a spot in the starting lineup season after season among the first team ranks. Now, with Guardiola's acclaim for Rico Lewis as one of his finest mentees, the signs strengthen the notion that perhaps, following Phil Foden's path, Rico Lewis will perpetuate the tradition of academy players frequently featuring in City's senior squad. What distinguishes Rico Lewis? While Rico Lewis might not excel at orchestrating attacks like Kyle Walker or possess Walker's speed, Guardiola values Lewis as an incredibly adaptable player for his squad. His knack for maneuvering various positions earns Guardiola's trust match after match. Only injuries or suspensions seem capable of hindering his versatility. Prior to assuming an attacking midfield role in the recent game, Lewis showcased his skills across multiple positions, including stints as a right-back, left-back, and right-winger. In the initial Burnley game, he even operated as a left-winger, occasionally slotting in as a defensive midfielder alongside Rodri. Rico Lewis emerges as Guardiola's most adaptable asset in the current squad, shining notably in the attacking midfield role during his last outing. In the heart of the midfield, he partnered with Phil Foden, a seasoned player and his idol, also a product of the academy like himself. Foden lavished praise on Lewis's performance, commending his brilliant midfield play against Leipzig. To Foden, Lewis's courage to perform at such a young age was admirable, relishing the sight of an academy alumnus sharing the field. The 18-year-old, hailing from Bury, a smaller town in Greater Manchester, shone brightly even orchestrating City's first goal, executed by Phil Foden himself. Prior to that moment, Lewis consistently crafted dangerous opportunities in front of Leipzig's goal, leading the stats for key passes in the game. His repeated manoeuvres propelled the ball into the final third, 
reminiscent of Guardiola's reasoning in the previous match when he sought a player capable of evading opponent pressure while in possession, a role Lewis fulfilled commendably. Guardiola specifically lauded some of Lewis's maneuvers. Despite noticeable imperfections, Rico Lewis, with his youthfulness and a penchant for listening and learning, seems firmly on the right trajectory. Guardiola's highest praise goes to Lewis's unwavering humble demeanor. Guardiola emphasized that despite Lewis's consistent strong showings and accolades, his attitude remains steadfast, a quality Guardiola believes will endure. This phase marks only the commencement of Lewis's football journey, presenting ample room for growth towards becoming a more well-rounded player. However, in Guardiola's eyes, a footballer earning the trust of senior teammates holds greater significance than any accolade, a trust Lewis has already secured from his more experienced City colleagues. Thus, while Julian Alvarez and Jeremy Doku may have stood out in the Leipzig game, for Guardiola, Rico Lewis emerged as the star.